What is up everyone? So Midjourney just gave me access to Midjourney Alpha because now I have generated at least 1000 images. So if you have generated 1000 images, you have access to this URL where you can go and actually start creating images. So you don't have to do it on Discord, which is what we were used to so far. Now you can actually create these images right here in Alpha and it's actually pretty good. And I, since I've got the access, all I'm doing is actually generating these images here. So if you want to know if you have access access to alpha then just go to alpha.midjourney.com and see if you have access by logging in if you don't have access then the best way to kind of see how many images you have generated is by actually going to discord and by just typing in slash info and what it's going to do is it actually is going to give you all the information about your account um, you know like how much time is remaining how many images you have generated especially lifetime images right so i have generated about 1600 images so I kind of qualify for this right now. So I am having access. So that's where I am. So I got access to this. And once you have access, you will have to basically come to alpha.midjourney.com. Like, so once you come here, you have an explore page, which actually shows all these different images that, you know, community or people are generating. You can actually just go in and type your you know prompt here so here i have this prompt a silhouette of a person with blade in the style of an anime aesthetic purple and red colors you know i wish there was a red button you know like a button to say enter but it's not available but once you write your prompt in you don't have to do slash imagine here you can actually go in and click on this button here this gives you access to, you know, different parameters that you were using in Midjourney uh, Discord. And here you can actually bring that in and kind of play around with this in the UI. So if you want portrait, you can switch to portrait, you can go to square, you can do landscape, or you can actually use this sliding bar to define what kind of aspect ratio you want. So I'm going to keep it square. You can actually define your stylized parameter here by selecting. Uh, it's actually the hyphen hyphen S parameter which was the stylized parameter the ranges between 0 to 1000 uh, 0 being most neutral and 1000 having the most style so you can just keep it at 0 and play around with weirdness i have played with weirdness a lot especially for art work that i'm trying to generate and it's it's worked out really well so you can actually play around with that and you can have some variety you know change that it's between 0 and 100 then you can choose between what kind of mode you want to do standard or raw which is what we are used to hyphen hyphen raw is what we used to do but i'll keep it standard and you can have the different models that are available so as you can see you have model version one all the way to six and if you want to like experience how one prompt kind of has grown over the six versions you can actually you know keep the same prompt change the versions and it also has the niji version niji six five and four available so i'm going to keep it at six and you can define if what kind of speed you want so all those parameters that you're used to in discord are available here in midjourney alpha so just do that and I'm going to keep it here and once you do that just press enter as soon as you do that one of the things I wish they had was like show some sort of an alert that okay job submitted or something but we don't have it yet but instead what we have is this create page where it shows this zero of one that means it's getting created so now you can see that this image is currently getting generated but look at all the different images that I've created you know I created this vector art logo from here actually kept stylized at zero again i generated this image of a woman i actually changed its aspect ratio and i'll show you how you can do it i've been generating some really cool images here you can see i was playing around with these you know artwork with and the weird parameters so it's really really awesome you know uh, this platform is really cool i like that and so right now it's getting generated let's go see the archive now the archive also gives you like a combined page of all the different images that I've been creating, you know, and I can actually like uh, and play around with filters here. So I can say, oh, I'll show me all my mid-journey V6 photos or five, you know, or, or grids or upscales and things that I liked, things that I, I kept as hidden. So those things you can do. You can also go to rate image. This is where you can actually kind of see two different images and you can actually choose what kind of aesthetic you like. And this kind of helps the Midjourney team understand, get feedback from users as to what images that we are liking that Midjourney is generating. So here you have two images and for each of these images, there are prompts available. So we can actually see what these prompts are. And then it allows us to kind of understand what our preferences are. You can always go uh, switch the mode like there is a dark mode light mode option here um, you can skip this if you want to on this page or you can go back to the explore page and actually even search for prompts you know you can actually type in 
you can randomize like this allows you to randomize and see different things get some creative ideas of what people are trying to generate but let's go back to create page and see the image that we wanted to generate so this is the prompt i'd say a silhouette of a person with a blade in style of anime aesthetic purple and red now i actually use the standard raw model this would look so so much cooler if i use the niji model but look at these images so this image has been generated this looks really cool this looks like a cover page of an anime art right and that looks pretty cool too that looks great the blade is in the wrong position but <laughs> all of these are actually really good the it the prompt coherence with model 6 is like fantastic now let's say we like this image right uh, you have all these images that are generated you can actually come and play around with the same variables that you get in you know mid journey you also have these images on the side so you can scroll um, you know kind of play around with this but again let's just stick with this image and you can say say you want to upscale that image you can click on upscale uh, click on create if you want to remix it you can do that as well if you want to do a uh, zoom let's just click on 2x as soon as you do 2x you will see another job will be entered now the only thing i don't like is that i don't have an alert you know i have to see uh, go back to this um, this page here and then i see that there's a job submitted i would like a pop-up or some sort of a notification anyways let's go back here while that is getting generated do it to x you can do reruns you can do vary you can do use this image or you can like figure out how to play around with this prompt so all right so that image is generated now you can see we got a zoom and that looks like so cool now i can add some text here later or we can do it right now so let's just do you know remix and we'll just say all right, so all I did was like click on remix and then this popped up and I added battleground as text, right, in quotes. And let's just enter that and it created another job. And basically what I'm saying is, hey, add this text into this image. And that's what we want to see. And hopefully without selecting the region, we can actually do that. So let's go back and see what else can we do. So there is an option for us to pan to the left and right and things like that. But we also have the option to like do remix with strong variable d all right so now that we've done this like now we have gotten to this page let's let's do another thing let's just do vary by region and i'm going to click vary by region and then select the region i want the text in and i'm just going to say comma battleground okay and just enter and and that's where i'm saying and now this one i like because it sh says that hey job submitted but i wish uh, you could do that so if you see if you go back actually to the create page one of the things I don't like is that I just clicked on these buttons because I was just trying to explore, but it actually looks at those as final commands that I really wanted. So it would be good for us to say, select this and submit a command or something. But again, we created some more variations. Um, uh, and here, as you can see, it, it tried to type battleground here. And this one, it tried to type battleground to the corner. Same thing here, battleground here. It's this was not exactly what I was looking for right in the middle something there but um, what I want is right text right in the middle like an anime cover book so we'll see how how that result kind of looks up but overall I mean this is mid journey alpha and obviously you know the prompt coherence is fantastic but the opportunity to now do this on a UI without having to do this on Discord is kind of helpful for a lot of people. So hopefully you've liked this. I'm only going to say that this is going to get better. So if you've liked what I've shared in this video, like, like and subscribe to my channel and let me know what you think about it in the comments. Until I see you again, stay true, stay consistent.